NFC tags have been around for a while now. They are inexpensive and can be used in many ways. You can use them to control smart home devices or even run automations directly on a smartphone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate NFC tags with Home Assistant. I will also show you how you can use them with your Home Assistant automations. And lastly, I go over some of the NFC tags that you can purchase. So what is NFC? NFC or Near Field Communication uses radio waves for communication. NFC tags don't have a power source. It actually draws power from the device that reads them. An NFC reader, for example a smartphone, creates a magnetic field that induces an electrical current. So when the device is close enough to an NFC tag, it powers the tag allowing the data stored to be wirelessly transferred. There are many NFC tags available for different brands that you can purchase. And they're also very cheap. Some of my favorites are, for example, the Thompson Round PVC NFC tags, which you can get a pack of 25 for $15 on Amazon. They don't have adhesive, however, Thompson also has NFC stickers available, and you can get a pack of 30 for $16. These two types of NFC tags don't work on metal surfaces. The metal grounds the tags affecting the antenna, so it can create the current needed to power the chip. There are some NFC tags that do work on metal, but they cost a little more. They have a ferry foil which creates a barrier allowing the tag's antenna to function properly. The only metal NFC tags that I recommend are the Crystal Cube NFC tags from Utopia Plus. They come in a pack of 9 and cost like $20. They are pricey but they have a nice design and work very well. An alternative will be from Thompson. They have a pack of 10 for $10. You can find links with these tags in the description below. All right, to set up an NFC tag with Home Assistant, open the Home Assistant app on a smartphone. Tap on the icon with the three lines on the top left to open the sidebar. Then go to Settings, Tag, and tap on Add Tag. Set up a name for the new tag, and the Tag ID field leave it empty. Home Assistant will automatically generate the ID for you. Lastly, tap on Create and Write, and a pop-up will come up prompting you to scan the NFC tag. After the tag is available in the Tags panel, you will have a shortcut to create an automation with the tag. There is also an Edit button where you can edit the tag's name, view the tag's ID number, and also the option to delete the tag. There is also the option to re-scan the NFC tag, however you would only see that option when using the Home Assistant app on a mobile device. Now that the NFC tag is added to Home Assistant, you can use it in automations to control your smart home devices. It will pretty much work as a switch, but with the benefit that you don't have to worry about batteries, or if you put them outside, you don't have to worry about water damage, for example. All right, let's create an automation so we can see the NFC tag in action. For this example, I'm just going to set up the tag to toggle my monitor lights. Besides going to the Automations page to create an automation, we can also click on the shortcut next to the NFC tag in the Tags panel. In the Automation Editor, set up a name for the new automation. Under Triggers, set the trigger type to Tag, and below select the tag that you would like to use. After that, under Actions, set the action type to Call Service, and for the service, select Light.toggle. Then on the targets, click on Choose Entity and select the light to control. Save the automation and if you bring the phone over to the NFC tag, a notification pops up where you need to tap to run the automation. This method is not the best and is not an issue with Home Assistant. It is a security measure put in place in iOS to avoid unwanted tasks from running without you first tapping the notification. I'm not sure if it's the same on Android, but it is like that in iOS. There is a method that we can use to bypass this. Instead of adding the tag in Home Assistant, we can create an automation using the Shortcuts app in iOS. The automation will run an event in Home Assistant when the NFC tag is scanned. To set it up, open the Shortcuts app on an iPhone, go to Automations, and tap the plus icon on the top right. Select Create Personal Automation, Search for NFC and tap on it. Under NFC Tag, tap on Scan and then scan the NFC tag. Give it a name and then tap on OK. After that, click Next on the top right. Then click on Add Action, search for Home Assistant Fire Event and select it. 
where it says shortcut event, change it to whatever name you would like for the event. For the automation that I set up before, I can name it, for example, toggle underscore monitor underscore lights. Make sure that the event name that you set up has no spaces. Another action that I would suggest adding is to get some feedback when the automation is triggered. On the search bar below, search for vibrate device and select it. So when the automation runs, your phone will vibrate, letting you know that the NFC tag was scanned and the automation ran. Tap next and uncheck the option ask before running. And on the pop-up tap don't ask. The option notify when run would also be unchecked. So like that, you don't get a notification every time the automation is triggered. Tap on done. And next we need to change the trigger in the home assistant automation to use the event set up from the shortcuts app. So in the automation editor, change the trigger type to event. Then for the event type, enter the name that you set up in the shortcuts automation. Save the changes and if you bring your phone over to the NFC tag, it will run the animation in the background without tapping on a notification. One bad thing about using this method is that it works only on the device that has the automation in the Shortcuts app. If you have all the users in your home, the automation in the Shortcuts app will need to be set up on each individual device. However, to avoid tapping a notification to run the automation every time, it's definitely better to use this method. You can use NFC tags with many different automations. Pretty much anything that can be triggered with a button can also be triggered with an NFC tag. Like we set up before, we can use NFC tags to toggle lights. Another idea is, for example, to use them to control an alarm system linked to Home Assistant. You could have an NFC tag by your front door and easily arm or disarm your alarm. Another idea is that if you have a smart lock, you could install an NFC tag outside your door to easily lock and unlock your door. The list pretty much goes on. What I would like to know is how you guys use the NFC tags with Home Assistant. So definitely let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.